Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example from real numbers and it is a one mark question considered from a previous year question paper. Find after how many places of decimal, the decimal form of the number will terminate. Now first, let us understand what are decimal places and terminating numbers. Now here four numbers are taken as examples. Now here 345.1. So this represents one decimal place that is after the decimal point. And it is called as a terminating number because you do not see any number after 1. Now 56.245. Now this number has 3 decimal places because after the decimal point there are only 3 digits. And this is also terminating because after 5 you do not see any number. Now the third example is 45.1245. Now this number is terminating after 4 decimal places. Similarly the last number terminates after 2 decimal places. So according to the question, we have to find out after how many decimal places will this given number terminate. Now once we have understood the terminating numbers, let us understand what are the rules to find out whether the given number is terminating or not. For a number to be terminating, we should have only powers of 2 and powers of 5 in the denominator. So here I have considered a fraction. The numerator I have written in general as x and in the denominator I have taken 2 to the power of m times 5 to the power of n. Now once we have got the denominator in terms of powers of 2 and 5, the next rule you have to remember is, you have to check out of m and n which is a larger number. Now to explain this, I have written an example over here. In the numerator, we have the same value x and in the denominator, I have taken 2 to the power of 4 times 5 to the power of 3. Now if you compare the powers, 4 is a larger number than 3, which means this entire number is going to terminate after 4 decimal places. That is after the decimal point. So keep in mind these two rules. That is for a number to terminate, you should have only powers of 2 and powers of 5 in the denominator. And to find out after how many decimal places the number terminates, you have to compare the powers. The larger out of the two will tell you the number of decimal places. So let us come back to this question. So 27 over 2 cubed times 5 to the power of 4 times 3 square. Now 3 square has been simplified. As you can see, 3 square is 9 and rest of the terms are kept same. Now 27 and 9 go in the table of 9. That is 9, 1 times is 9 and 9, 3 times is 27. So now we have got in the denominator only powers of 2 and only powers of 5. So our first rule is satisfied. Next, we are going to compare the powers. So out of 3 and 4, 4 is larger. We know that. So after 4 decimal places, a number is going to terminate. That is what you have to write here. The number terminates after 4 decimal places. So you do not have to go for long division. You are going to decide depending on the powers of 2 and 5. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. So if you found this question interesting, then you can check more questions on real numbers by clicking on this playlist. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.